The Silhouette Curio has two tool holders so that multiple tools can be used simultaneously. This is especially convenient when your project requires two separate actions, such as when performing a score and emboss, or when multiple variations of the same action are desired, such as when using two different colors of sketch pens. The left and right tool holders are color-coded for your convenience. A red circle identifies the left holder, a blue circle identifies the right holder. This distinction becomes important when finalizing your project in Silhouette Studio. An array of tools with different tips allow you to complete varying jobs. These include scoring, embossing, sketching, stippling, cutting, and etching. The easiest way to prepare your multi-tool project is to use different line colors in Silhouette Studio. You can then assign a different tool to be used for each line color in your project. You can use as many line colors as you would like. In this project, we will use three different colors of sketch pens, brown, orange, and green, and then cut around the design with the blade, requiring us to use a total of four tools. First, we'll open the design we would like to use. You may need to ungroup your design so that individual sets of lines can be selected. Next, we'll color our different sets of lines to correspond with the colors of sketch pens we will be using. To do so, simply select all the lines you would like to make a certain color. You can select multiple lines at once by holding the shift key as you click. With your lines selected, assign a line color from the line color menu. Repeat this step for all of your sketch lines. If you have a cut line, like we do, make sure it is assigned a color that is easily distinguishable from your sketch line colors. With a color assigned to each of our lines, we are ready to send our job to the Curio. Go to the Cut Settings menu and select the Advanced Cut Mode. Under Cut Order, choose the Line Color option. In this box, you should see a row for each line color you created. The Curio will work from top to bottom, so you can sort the order if needed. For this project, we want to sketch first and cut last, so we will drag our red cut line to the bottom. Since this project is using four different tools, we will need to switch out our tools partway through our project. To do that, we will insert a pause after the first two rows. Now we will adjust our material settings and assign which tool holder will be used for each line color. Under the tool column, there are two circles in each row. The red circle on the left will send this line colors operation to the left tool holder. Clicking the blue circle on the right assigns this line colors operation to the right tool holder. We'll assign the first line color to the left tool holder and insert the correct pen in place. We'll assign the second line color to the right tool holder. Next, we'll assign the third and fourth line colors to the corresponding tool holders in the same way. Notice that when a row is selected, we can also adjust our material settings. For the sketch lines, we will select Sketch Pen. Once we have our material positioned on our mat and the correct pens in place, we are ready to begin by clicking Send to Silhouette. The Curio will sketch the first two sets of lines and then pause. Once paused, you can now switch your tools. Earlier in this project, we assigned our green lines to the left tool holder, so we're going to put our green pen into the left tool holder and our blade into the right tool holder. Note that we've adjusted our blade depth to the recommended setting for cutting cardstock. Now we'll click Resume Cutting from the Send to Silhouette panel and the Curio will resume the job. Once completed, the project can be removed from the mat. See the other videos in our Curio series to learn more about your Silhouette Curio.